Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the, our next lecture of daily minute series, which is related to previous year questions of various examinations like IBPS, AFO, RRVSO, NAVAD, FCI, and many more examinations. Okay, so let's start the lecture. Our first question is, which hormone is responsible for milk letdown? Already, this is a, this question has been discussed previously, okay? Because we have talked about the oxytoxins before also. Now, here the options are glycogen, oxytoxin, casein, progesterone, and lactin. Before answering to these questions, let's understand about these five options. First is casein. What is casein? Casein is just a milk protein which is responsible for white color in milk. If white milk appears white, due to, that is due to the presence of casein protein in the milk. Next is progesterone. This is a hormone which plays important role in a, maintaining the pregnancy. Okay. The pre men, okay. Next is oxytoxins. This hormone which is responsible for the milk letdown. Just I told you in the previous uh, lecture um, that uh, <clears throat> that uh, when uh, the milk is uh, collect, collected in the uh, duck, that is uh, because of the stimulation by the hormones that is known as oxytoxins. Okay, then the letdown of milk is done by oxytoxin. Again, it's glycogen. Now in animal cell, this, uh, these are the <clears throat> polysaccharides which is stored in the animal cells. Lactin, it is nothing but it's a simply a milk lipid. Okay, now you have got the answer. The answer is oxytoxin. Now our next question is, fruit of rose is known as, okay, the options are capsule, hips, berry, syconium, sorosis. Now let's see. See. If you talk about the fruits like aula, carambola, its fruit type is capsule, if you talk about pineapple, jackfruit, mulberry, its fruit type is sorosis. If you talk about fig, it is syconium, grape, guava, banana, papaya, date palm, sapota. In this, its fruit type is berry. In rose, its hips. Raspberry, custard apple, blackberry, strawberry, it is aggregate fruits. Okay, then you have know the question. That question was asked about the rose. Then answer is hips. Now, what is this fruit type and how it's it is a what is its characteristics these all things has been discussed in our pre-recorded lectures that you can see by visiting our websites and you can see the detail of the courses there you will get everything okay now our next question is antheria mylita is a famous silkworm which is what is its scientific name okay the question is actually this name was given and, and the question is asked, asked okay, of which of the following option, this is the scientific name. The options were Muga silk, Tessar silk, Eri silk, Mulberry, Temperate, Tessar. Okay, now you can see Mulberry. Its scientific name is Bombax mori and its host plant on it, host plant means on it, it feeds, that is Mulberry leaves, Tessar, Antheria mylita, Gisipa soria is its host plant, Okay, then this question was asked that he gave the name Antheria mylita and he asked the name of the common name of the silver. Okay, again we talk about the Eri or Castor, eh? Philosamia ricci, its host plant is Castor leaves, Muga, Antheria SMEA, eh? Som and Solu plants are its host plant, Temperate Tessars, Antheria proliri, and it uh, feeds on oak leaves. Okay, then the answer to this question is Tassar. Now, our next question is removal of male bud in banana after pollination is known as the options are curing, rabbing, denabling, metocking, arrowing. Now, first we'll understand all the terms one by one. First is curing. See, this what is curing? Curing is done in generally in this tobacco, eh? and it is done in tea also. Just it is to remove the moisture of the lip. Okay, so that it can impart color or texture or aroma to the final product. It is done in tea and tobacco both. 
okay removal of the moisture that is curing topping this is removal of flower heads either we can remove just flower heads alone or with a few upper leaves also okay this is also done in tobacco what is denebling removal of male bud after pollination that is known as denebling then our question was related to denebling only okay next is matoking what is matoking after the harvest of the bunch in banana this the stream is cut so that there can be good mobilization of nutrients okay and that mother plant which has in which the retun has been left now the pseudo stream which is cut that is cut leaving a stump of near about 0.6 meter height okay now this method is generally practiced in what banana next is our arrowing what is arrowing it is nothing but inflorescence in sugarcane now i have explained all the terms one terms is you can see in the options rabbing what is rabbing this is a process by which the burning of th thrashes weeds or any organic residues that is left on the surface of the soil right? that is in this what we do in rabbing nearly 15 to 20 cm thick layer of leaves weeds or pedia straw is uniformly spread over the soil and then it is burnt okay so that the weeds are removed eh? all the unwanted things are removed from the soil okay though answer to that question is denabling i hope the everything is clear in this lecture again in the next lecture we will come with few good questions and the terminology related to that questions and we will give you the detailed explanation of that terminology if you want everything in the more detail either your horticulture or any subjects or either with agriculture or allied subjects you can just visit our websites everything there you will get the details if you have any query you can just whatsapp or you can just call this number 8688849802 and you will get the detail about our courses okay thank you